Hello, uh, good afternoon. This is Junichiro Hagino or Itojun, and the, this is fourth video about IPv6 technology. And today I would like to talk a little bit about what kind of application you can will, will be able to enjoy if you use IPv6. Um, I think uh, if you are in the United States, you will you have Tibo device in your home. Uh, Tibo device is basically a uh, um, device which records your TV program um, by using hard disk or something like using MPEG video stream, and the you can download the video onto uh, or watch the video by your uh, computers and the, it's a really convenient device. However, um, because uh, IPv4 address is very scarce resource and the uh, it is getting getting very uh, tough for people to get enough IPv4 addresses for the devices you have in your home. Um, it is, uh, I think, it is uh, difficult or impossible to uh, contact with your TiVo device in your home from your office. And the even if you know that the uh, oh, I forgot to uh, register uh, to record the uh, uh, game show I would like to watch. Uh, Drew Barrymore will be on the show, and the I'm the fan of Drew Barrymore. Oh, Jesus, how how can I record that? So you will you will try to access your TiVo device in your home, but you cannot because there is no IPv4 address, enough IPv4 addresses. So you make a phone call to your wife or your family member, your roommate, and then try to describe that you need to record this channel from 6 p.m., one hour, or whatever. Then uh, you know because uh, the person may not be you know that may not be that fan of three by more may the may make mistake or something and the, you will miss the show uh, that's bad so with IPv6 uh, you will have plenty of plenty of addresses and the you will no longer need to worry about those problems and you can just contact the uh, TiVo device in your home and the, then make the uh, registration for that show which starts or buy more and without any hustles uh, from your desktop machine unless you know uh, you you need to hide away from your boss of course but the uh, you know it's okay so that is one uh, small example and the, the bigger example would be like nowadays uh, cell phone companies such as Nokia, Ericsson, they really are trying to get, get their devices IPv6 ready and the, my device, uh, this is Nokia E61 and the, this is like one year old device and the this one has IPv6 already built in so I can use IPv6 network from this phone and this phone has a 802.11 network uh, Wi-Fi or wireless network technology so once you use the internet phone technology you can make a phone call for free using the internet of course and the, uh, in my home I use fiber uh, fiber to the uh, outside network and the, maybe your home is DSL or something but anyway so if you have internet access and if you have some uh, internet phone network you can make the phone call easily and the, the catch is uh, if you are the phone provider and if you would like to deploy the next generation cell phone network and the, if you would like to market it into China or India where like billion people are living then you know 
you cannot deploy IPv4 network because there's no such addresses, right? Then you have no choice other than IPv6. And the, uh, of course, there are ways to work around the problem, but the, ultimately, uh, if you use IPv4, your total amount of uh, uh, cost for your equipment will be overkill. And the, it will be much easier if you use IPv6. And the, the network can be much simpler and the, the cost of operation will be lower. So, uh, of course, uh, there are some challenges, like, uh, like of course, IPv6 devices uh, could be, uh, you know, the initial development cost may be a little bit higher, maybe, but the, if you play the card right, uh, the uh, big companies like Cisco, Juniper, whoever, supports IPv6 already and the of course Linux and the uh, BSD Unix and Windows Vista, Mac OS X, they all support IPv6 so it is just a matter of how you enable those so you can use IPv6 pretty much you know in a simple way of course there's some cost for education but the uh, you know if you need some initial education and the, if you do not need expensive gear for IPv4, then mm, if you compare, you know, those costs and those costs and the, see which one would win. And the, because Nokia and Ericsson, uh, these big guys are really serious about IPv6, of course, NT Docomo, which is a Japanese phone provider, is serious, and the, of course, companies like, uh, many companies are still serious. So maybe uh, there's the answer. So, yeah. And the, the other example would be like, uh, I, think, I think I mentioned this, um, the uh, IP addresses for light bulbs then you can control your light bulbs from outside directly from your uh, browser in your company computer maybe of course you need you need to have some password or something but the you know it's possible and the there are some houses which can be controlled by uh, phone but the uh, honestly uh, internet technology is much better in providing security uh, using cryptographic authentication so so I think you know having uh, IP addresses on light bulb is fun and the there are lot of lot of possible applications when you use IPv6 so even if you think that the, there's some limitation with IP, IP address number of IP address you can get and the if you are trying to avoid this problem by uh, redesigning your stuff then maybe you can work it, work around it by using IPv4. I uh, know IPv IPv6. Then you will be able to simplify your design. You will be able to provide better services, and the, then maybe you can attract more people. And then maybe, um, hopefully, you can make uh, more. Uh, you have more chance to reach people, and then maybe I think you will be successful. So, you know, you have to believe in what you do and then you will make it happen, right? And the, okay, that's about it. And the, today it's a little bit longer, but I uh, hope to talk with you soon. And the, please comment on video, send me an email, whatever, and they will really encourage me. So thank you. See you soon. Bye.